Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do a really pretty pink eye look using the Jeffree Star and Morphe Cosmetics collaboration palette. And I will say if you're in between this and the Jaclyn Hill one, definitely go for the Jeffree Star. First I'm going to use um, concealer by Laura Mercier to conceal my lids. This is going to block out any redness or veins or darkness you have on your eyelids to make your eyeshadow really pop. I'm just using a beauty blender to blend everything out. Next, I'm using the Kylie Cosmetics Translucent Setting Powder. This is a really important step with any eyeshadow look. You definitely want to set your lids with any sort of powder to make it a lot easier to blend your shadows. Next, using the palette, I'm going to go in with this really pretty dusty rose shade. And I'm going to take a blending brush and I'm going to focus this in the crease. I'm really taking my time blending and building this up um, as it's a little bit of a lighter shade but you can definitely get a lot of pigment if you just take your time, keep dipping into the palette and building up that color. And again, just going back in with that shade and just waiting until I get that desired pigment. Next, I'm going to go in with this really pretty hot, pa hot pink shade. I'm going to take a little bit of a denser, fluffier brush. And we're going to start by focusing this on the outer corner of the eye. And eventually pulling it in through the crease to the inner corner. So again, with any really pigmented shade, you want to take your time building it up. Starting with a little bit of shadow on your brush and working your way um, through until you get that full pigment. So here you see I'm just starting on the outer corner and eventually just pulling it through the crease into the inner corner as well, keeping the lid space free. And I'm also almost going to create a little bit of a wing with the shadow as well. biggest thing using this color is you just want to blend as much as you possibly can. You don't want there to be any harsh lines. So it's going to take a little bit of time, but it'll be worth it in the end. And I'm just doing the exact same thing on the other side of my face. Next, I'm going to go in, the, in with this really pretty pearly pink shade. We're going to focus this on the inner part of the eye to about the middle of the lid, so we don't want to put it over top of that hot pink shade. I'm just using a setting spray and a little bit of a flat brush to intensify this ever so slightly. And then going back in with that denser brush with the hot pink shade, and we're just going to blend the two together. Next, I'm taking a makeup wipe, and I'm just really cleaning up those edges. This is going to help us when we go in with liner to create a really sharp wing. This is the best tip because it's going to help you have a little bit of a diagram for where you want to place your wing. Next, I'm going in with the Kat Von D Dagger Liner. I'm going to first curl my lashes and I'm using the liner to create a wing. You can skip this step if you want to. Next, I'm using the Essence Mascara. This is amazing. It looks like you have false lashes on. So this one's going to lengthen the lashes really, really nicely. And if you want it, you could use false lashes, but I always skip that step. I'm going to use the ColourPop Volumizing Mascara next. This is going to give the um, lashes more of a fluffy look. So next I'm going to contour. I'm using the KKW Contour Stick. And notice I have no foundation on, so I'm going to do this before I have foundation. It's going to give it a little bit more of a natural contoured look instead of that really like full face, sharp, um... Make a look. I'm using an It Cosmetics Flat Top Kabuki brush to blend this all out. We don't really have to worry too, too much about blending as we are going to put foundation on top of it. And I will say these contour sticks, they have literally 
the tiniest amount of product in them and they're like $40. So definitely get the Smashbox, one, Smashbox ones instead. Next I'm going in with the YSL All Hours Foundation. I'm kind of in between shades so I'm just mixing a darker shade and a lighter shade to get my perfect shade for my face. And using that exact same brush, I'm just going to I'm just going to buff this right into the skin. Next, I'm going in with the KKW, the highlighting shade. There's two ends to this one, one's sparkly and one's matte. So I'm just taking the matte one and putting this under my eyes. This isn't going to conceal, but it's going to just brighten um, up certain areas that you want to enhance. It's pretty dry, so honestly, I wouldn't buy this product again, but I'm just using it because it's expensive and I bought it. And then using the Laura Mercier Concealer again, I'm just using right on top of that to sharpen up the wing as well as conceal any dark circles under my eyes and blending it out with a beauty blender. Next, I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Contour Wand. Love this product, but it is super expensive. Um, I'm just using this in the contours of my face to give a little bit more of a chiseled look. And I'm just blending that out again with a beauty blender. And notice at this point I have not put any powders on my face. You want to first finish with all your cream products and then go ahead and use a powder. Next I'm using this incredibly expensive Chanel Tan um, Cream Bronzer but it is so worth it. I'm going to use this just to warm up my face just ever so slightly. You can use this with a brush or even a beauty blender. It's going to give you even more of a natural look so it's not going to be too perfect. And then I'm using the Makeup Forever HD Liquid Highlighter. This one's in a pearly pink. And I'm going to use a beauty blender just to tap the cream on to the highest points of my cheeks. Next, I'm using the Benefit Dandelion Liquid Blush. This is so pretty. It's a really pretty soft pink. I'm just dabbing this first on the back of my hand and then onto the apples of my cheeks using a beauty blender. This is just going to give you the prettiest little flush look. I love using this even on, the, on its own when I have no makeup on. Next, I'm using the same translucent powder, and I'm just going to put this underneath my eyes to set everything and make sure I have no creases. And I'm going to leave that there to bake just so everything kind of sets and creates a highlighted look. I'm using a dual fiber brush. I'm just going to use the powder to set my entire face. If you're dry, you can skip this step. Next, I'm going in with the Benefit Cheekathon palette and I'm going to take the Hoola bronzer and I'm going to bronze up my skin. I'm taking a little bit of translucent powder and a beauty blender and I'm going to bake underneath my contour just to sharpen it up and I'm having a little Starbucks break. <laughs> Next I'm taking an Anastasia um, brow pencil in the shade taupe and just doing my brows. Next I'm going in the Anastasia in Nicole Guerrero highlight palette and I'm using the shade Kitty Cat first and I'm going to highlight my cheeks, my nose, and my cupid's bow with this. This is a really pink highlight so you'll see later I do go in with more of a white highlight. There we go. Yep, the shade Cookie by Benefit. And I'm going to put this right on top. That's going to really just enhance it even more. It's such a beautiful shade. I'm also going to use the shade Cookie from the highlighting palette and put this under my brow bone as well as the inner corner of my eye to make them pop. And now I'm just dusting away any of the powder that's left. Next I'm taking a flat definer brush going with that hot pink shade and we're going to put this right underneath the lash line. You don't have to be too um, precise with it as we are going to blend it out in a minute. 
and you'll see there I'm using the dusty rose shade and a little buffer brush and I'm just blending the two together and of course we're gonna put a little bit of mascara on the lower lash line All right, next I'm going to go in, the, go in with the Laura Mercier Extreme Lip Crayon. This is in a really pretty pink shade. And I'm just going to put this all over my lips. I love these crayons. They're matte, but they're definitely not drying. And you don't even need a lip liner with them, which is awesome. And I'm just going to blend everything out with my finger. Next, I'm going to go in with the Fenty Beauty Gloss. This is in the clear shade and I'm going to tap this on the lips to give an even more glossy and plumpy plumping effect to my lips and again blend everything with my finger and that is it thanks for watching